overjoyed that Joe reached out to us when he did and said, hey, you know, it's been five years. Do you fancy doing this? Uh, I must say a little dicky bird, though. I waited for everybody else to reply before I replied. <laughs> um, I think I waited a good 36 hours before I actually replied. Just because that's just my inside joke of always being late. I'm never on time. And for a drummer that has bad time, it just shouldn't happen. <laughs> I was hoping to, to feel like at the end of seven days would be exhausted but joyous. And because this is not easy, and it, doing an album in seven days, you're working hard, you know, and you're tired and you feel it everywhere. And I feel joyous. I feel proud. And in that split decision in the middle of the night in Dusseldorf that I, you know, because I, I did it because I missed it. I miss those guys. I miss the laughs, I miss the camaraderie, and, and I miss the music. And it was really, truth be told, a very, very special week for me. And I think we have a very special album. I think we have the best album that we've done. And the fans will tell us that, but I think we have the best album that we've done. I am happy because we we set a kind of a blueprint for what the album should sound like, and we've kept on course. Um, it's definitely Black Country Communion. People will know it's us. It's not, we haven't made any left turns or right turns. We've kept very focused. Really, we really do have a sound. And I, I remember going home, talk, calling my wife on the way home, which, if I don't do that often when I'm in about music, but I was that excited that I said, you know what, it was way better than I expected, and it sounds like us. Microphone.